Today I'm going to be making a plugin tier list. And the plugins I've selected are ones that I have experience with, so I can actually speak on them. Let's see here. Manipulator. This is a frequency modulator plugin made by Infected Mushroom. I think it's really good, and it has some pretty great applications. But it's a one-trick pony. And that's the funny thing with plugins. That's fine. I, not every single plugin needs to be completely utilitarian. But the one trick it does do is kind of cool. It's not the coolest thing ever for me. I imagine like if you're a dubstep producer or a heavy bass music producer, this is way more useful because you can get some gnarly sounds that I think fit that style more. So I'm going to put it in mid. Okay, on to the next one. Serum. This is a synth that everyone knows and everyone uses. It's great. I've been using it since I started producing in about 2017. And for a long time, it's been the best synth out there. There's tons of support for it. There's tons of plugins. It's super utilitarian. Um, and honestly, I do use it in almost every single track I make. It's essential for me and a lot of other producers. Right after that, though, Vital. This is a free synth i'm gonna be honest it's better than serum i like it more than serum and that kind of seems to be the case for most people it's visually prettier i think it's uh got tons and tons of presets out there for free it has everything serum has even more than serum i could be wrong but if it has the same features they're at least more accessible and vital then because uh, you can tune like the filters, the frequency on the filters very specifically. Like for example, a comb filter, you can select the frequency and it's very specific by semitones and you can change that into hertz even. It's super great, super utilitarian. I could use Vital for the rest of my life. I'd still like Serum, it's great, but um, I mean, how can you argue with free and just as good, if not arguably better, top of essential. So next we're gonna do Fab Filter. I'm gonna count it as the whole bundle. So that's including the limiter, EQ, compressor. I feel like those are the three that everyone uses the most. The multi-band compressor is amazing too. That's essential. I'd rank it higher than Serum, but not higher than Vital. But they're just about right there. And Terry's auto-tune. Um, I don't sing. I work with singers that need auto-tune, and this is the best one by far that I've used. I also haven't... I haven't tested out many, but as far as the features go, it's really good. You can really get under the hood, so to speak. The effects on it are fine. I get it. It helps you market it. It's cool. It's great. I would say... I mean, you need an auto-tune. It's essential if you're producing people, you know? It's great. So the next three... Nectar, Neutron, and Ozone. These are all by Isotope, and they're like bundles. So similar to FabFilter, but they're marketed differently. And they have a couple different features. So these three, these three bundles, packs even, they, they're they like a sort of an AI that automatically mixes your your channel that you put it on between nectar neutron and ozone they're all aimed at different parts of the process so nectar is only vocals neutron is for mixing and ozone's for mastering but they all do the same thing and have the same tools in it like eqs and stuff compressors whatever so it feels kind of gimmicky to me um Let's just start with Nectar. This is meant pretty much just for vocals, and I get why it exists, because vocals are make or break for a track. They're vitally important. But anytime I use the automatic mixing feature, it over-processes everything, and it like tends to use every single tool without me asking it to. So I just don't really use that feature at all. And besides, it's just EQs and compressors. Like I already have those, so there's no unique real unique features about it maybe as a de-esser but still you know if you need all these effects and you're doing a lot of vocal processing you know like you're a singer songwriter and you produce your own stuff this could be a great bundle to have i'm gonna put it kind of whack actually 
it, the the auto mixing feature is just mid neutron same thing for example there's a feature called exciter on there it throws it on everything and it's just like just super loud mad loud super intense destroys the sound i don't think it's great at all it's a terrible distortion sound it's also a whack now ozone's kind of a different story ozone has the imager that everyone loves i found and i love it a lot too um it's really good for mastering the ai on it it's the same sort of thing say you're just kind of you have ear fatigue you're like all right i'm just trying to get this done you can run that and then it's like all right you know it's getting me in the right direction but it's not something you can lean on and i imagine it's going to only get better as time goes on and that's great but i'm going to put it mid sin plant now sin plant super unique it has its own sound if i hear it in a song i know it's sin plant like 90 percent of the time it's really good i love it it's essential i'm gonna put it just above serum because i love the workflow on it it gets me out of this mindset that serum instantly throws me into which is like the same workflow and i'm starting from blank sin plant i can just randomize get weird sounds make them work you know it sin plant helps me not overthink so that's great super valuable in the creative process decapitator so this is a distortion unit by sound toys it's really good i like it but it's just got a super digital distortion sound and i don't really use it that much because i have saturator and ableton which is pretty much the same thing if not better but i do use it sometimes it's fun with drums i'd give it a mid to be honest scalar 2 scalar 2 is a chord generation plugin and for me i don't have a lot of music theory knowledge but that's okay and plugins like this really expedite the songwriting process because you have a cool melody you can use this thing to just throw chords under it it's got all sorts of scales you know keys it's a turbo one caveat though there's a weird record and export feature and i wish that was just smoothed out and was easier to get the chords out and quicker to get them in the song quanta quanta is granular synthesis super cool before quanta i was just using granular 2 which is a uh, freeware that comes with max for live on ableton's website super good but quanta's better it feels more just sounds better i don't know it's easier to use to me it's a turbo golfos it's an adaptive eq what they did is they programmed it to cut out specific frequencies frequencies that we like it boosts frequencies that muddy up a mix it cuts so like low mids and it boosts highs because a lot of tracks are too dull so that's cool and all but I find Golfoss is very subtle, which is great. Golfoss would be great if I was recording like an acoustic guitar and I pick a specific mic, but at that point, I don't, I mean, it's it's just fun, you know? Mid, I love soft two tape. <clears throat> I like this plugin a lot. It sounds great in specific styles. If I'm going for a punchy bass and tight club sort of sound, I'm not gonna use this, so anything else i will though it sounds great really good on vocals super fun it just emulates tape compression i'd give it a turbo massive so this might be a little controversial but i think massive is kind of whack now so for 2014 massive was the best and i get that and it's it's great you can do a lot of things with it but i dislike the workflow even more than i dislike serums crystallizer Crystallizer is a really cool delay type granular plugin. It's really good. Um, you have to really dial it in to make it sound unique. And then otherwise it can end up being a one trick pony, but it's really good when it's good. And I've used it in some really cool creative ways. I'd honestly give it a turbo. Valhalla. This is another free Echo Bode. Echo Bode is by the same people that made Sinplant, so it kind of has that sort of philosophy and DNA in it. You can get really cool sounds out of it, like delays and reverbs, cool frequency modulations. Honestly, that's turbo. So, the rest of these I saved for last because I did make a video about them, and you can go check that out if you want context on them. But these are all free, so just starting from the top, TDR Nova, it's like a multi-band compressor. It's not CPU heavy. It's pretty good. I'd give it a mid. It's not bad. If you don't have a multi-band compressor, this one's free and it'll get the job done. So, Tal Electro 2. I hate this one. It's 
got a stupid name. Uh, it has very limited features. It's monophonic. It has terrible presets. It's not doing anything for me. Delete it. Helm. This is a free synth. It's cool. I don't know why I would ever use it if Vital is free. It doesn't have the best... I don't even know how to do macros in it. I'm going to be honest, that's really unintuitive. It's kind of whack. Valhalla. This is a free reverb. It sounds better than Ableton stock reverb. I really like it. I just have a fab filter reverb that I use. Valhalla is really great. It's a little more creative though, because there's cool like reverb delay combo preset things that it has, and it has a really fun UI that's very easy to use and intuitive. That's Turbo. Synth 1. This synth hasn't been updated in a long time. I think 2014, and it looks old. But I've gotten some cool sounds out of it, to be honest. If, if you want like kind of off the shelf sounds, you know, it doesn't have the craziest abilities, but the workflow on it's really fun. I like it. I would give it, but I don't use it that much. So I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of mid, but it's good, I like it. Yeah, honestly, I am super happy with this. This makes a lot of sense to me. Hopefully that was fun. Maybe you found some plugins that you wanna go check out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.